Using a mobile phone while skating on the ice is dangerous to you and those around you. Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. The goal of our wall pivot is to learn how to get the whole body to move with the skate in a rotational fashion. Now, that sounds really easy. All I have to do is imagine being a door with a hinge on one side and swinging on the other. But it can feel a little bit different than that when we're really learning. So, first of all, figure style, you're going to pop your toe pick into the ground nice and strong to get a firm grip with the teeth of your toe pick. If you're in hockeys, you'll be on a flat blade and you're going to make sure that that foot stays put as the center point while the other foot makes its way round like a car on a roundabout. So we get that toe pick in the floor. You can have a hand on the wall if you want to, but now your shoulders and your hips, we're gonna to refer to this as squareness, okay? So shoulder, right shoulder over right hip, left shoulder over left hip, zero twist here, absolutely none, a nice flat surface, okay? So as we get that centered foot, flat for hockeys, toe pick for figure skaters, we're gonna bend our knee and perform a lemon and make sure that the whole body rotates around together with that foot. And the same thing, heading back the other way. We wanna make sure we move as one piece in unison, half a turn to face the wall, and half a turn to face away. Remember, your foot nearest the barrier will remain centered on the spot. Use your edge pressure to start to make the pivot rotate in a crescent shape to and from the barrier. Keep the hips and shoulders square as one piece so we turn to face the barrier and away, appearing to hinge like a door, opening and closing. Hockey skaters will follow the same principles with the weight in their stationary blades staying as central as possible so that you can pivot with ease. Remember to practice this exercise on both sides to improve your skills symmetry.